Uh, so what's up guys this is your boy Nick from 3D Animation Guru and today I um, have this tutorial that I want to show you something like this. One of the keys is remember where you came from keep that shit in the front of your mind and when shit goes bad and it goes sideways a lot of shit does you're getting booed out of the fucking building or you're coming through this injury or people are you writing you off oh, you guys ain't gonna fucking make it you know any of that shit. Uh, so this video I want to show you how you can um, add a, an audio or you can do the lip syncing on your character in Unreal Engine and I did this video because some people have been asking me how I do this and I decided to do for you a video to show you how you can be able to do this one and make it look perfect. So let's get to the business. So I have this character like you can see I have two software here. The one is the, uh, the uh, uh, Icron and the other one is Unreal Engine. And what I did, I, I did a video like how you can you can transfer a character from the uh, icon to the Unreal Engine. And maybe when you're done now, you can be able now to do. So what I do is that I come to the Unreal Engine. I add this. So before I start, I come here and I maybe I, I make my audio, which one I want. I use a, a, a Adobe Audition. And what I do is that one like... Of the is, remember where you came from. So, so that's the audio that I have. So when I, I do, I added my v, uh, my audio, I make sure that it is sound good and uh, that's what I need. So I just look for the presets that I need. Like this one is a video like The Rock trying to explain to him about his situation and whatever. So I come here and do export. And when I export, it just export like another audio. But what I do is that I export the two audio. One as MP3 and the other one as a wave. This is the, why do I do have to do that one? The reason is that when you come to the uh, icon, icon only import the MP3. A little agent import wave. So you need the two of them, and you need them to look the same. That's what that's the first thing that you have to do. Uh, so when you're done, now you can just do what your lip syncing. Is. Like you can come Remember here. Like when I click this one, do your lip syncing. Do your uh, just add the visami and then do you just do everything and then let your uh, uh your lip syncing look good the way that you want to see it looking like so when you're done use the unreal legend life ring this is easier or you can export this character but this one is a very very uh complicated way of doing it so the easiest way is just to ring using the unreal life ring and when you're done now this cutter will be imported here and then you see like you have the four of them and now what we do is that when we come here we have to record this one so i just go to the cinematic i add the sequence recorder and take recorder and when you add the both of them you have something like this one here now when your character is selected like if i zoom it back you can see my character is selected is the right arrow that is showing you there and what you do is that you uh click here to add your character and then you have to make this one to be your prehead to be at the starting point then what you do is that you can click record and when it at, is at zero then one of the click keys pray. remember where you came from keep that shit in the front of your mind and when shit goes bad and it goes sideways a lot of shit does you're getting booed out of the fucking building or you're coming through this injury or people are you writing you off oh you guys ain't gonna fucking make it you know any of that shit you gotta you gotta keep it in here and it really has to it should drive you so now i've recorded when you stop then just stop recording and you can just do this one if you are done what i like to do is that you come here to the linking and when this one is active your computer will be automatically zero so just unlink it you don't need it again and like you can see that your character is not linked and also here like you can see there's no anything that is linked so what i do is that now i can now go back to my unreal agent go to my sequencer and on my sequencer i have like let me show you something uh just the uh delete first of all uh make the loop uh, remove for those one you don't need them anymore and also like sometimes i can also delete my character like i can just come here and delete and make everything looks because i've recorded everything so what i just do is that i can go come here to the cinematic i add the level sequence like you can see on my cinematic here have the master so i just click my master the everything is okay so when i come to my sequencer no uh, i did something here so i come here i say 
I go to my cinematic, my master, then save, and then say yes. And it will ask you something like that. I'll say just say okay, everything. And this is because the project was used on another project. So I can try for the second time and then go to the cinematic master and this one may be correctly master one like you can call it master one or you can just create anything new then just say save and now you see now your master is there created so now when you go now to the content manager you have to check this one is on the this is the cc base plus i will show you the reason why because sometimes when you go back you can look for this on the rest of your life so what you go i go to the cinematic here my folder where i saved it and then i click my master one has already added then i can also add the short one which is also there now when i go back here i like to put this one like uh something like 500 frames 500 frames then drag this one to the edge or you can just click here on the edge. this is another trick click here on the edge and then say set at time it will just set it at say edge time so then go here go to shoot track on your shoot track when you click the press button you see the shoot too just add it and then drag this one also to the head then double click this one to open it and then you can make this one like the same way we say like 500 and then on the here where the preheat is just say click there and say add there that's your add time now go back to look a bit but not complicated if you just get used everything froze go back there uh, find where your character is like mine was on the cc shader oh no that one is r something r r r r, r, r content cc press and then you find your character here so i just take the first one here which is looking good for me and maybe I can just uh, zoom because I want to see this character here maybe bring it down a bit exactly like that one then go back to the sequence when it's selected you can drag like you can see it's already selected you can just drag this one and drop it there or you can click here go here on the top and then you choose it that's the two there are two ways like i can just delete this one and then i show you what i mean just delete that one come here click go to actor to sequence when your character is selected you have to make sure that your character is selected first then go here and then click base now when you click here you see that you, whatever you have recorded is already there so just click that on the press and remember there was a mistake because we never put our press so just do animation click your prehead to come to the first and then now add the animation add animation and then when you pre you see that your character is talking but there's no sound why because you need now to add the sound because a little edge doesn't add the sound so what you do is that you come here let me go to the content and see whether i have a folder where i have named the audio and i don't think i have one so what i do is that i come here and I, I i i add a new folder then call this one audio audio then open the folder the audio like you can see here then go to the import and then go where you have saved your audio like for mine i have saved it like i think there's some i, I call it the audio too and then i have the you see like i said the two this this one the rock voice which is wave and the other one which is uh, mp3 so i just choose the wave this one here and then import it and this, this is not going to take long it's now imported when it's just now imported it's called the rock one let's go to the sequencer go to the track and then go to audio track and the, on the audio track click here and then you can just la, look for where you it, you have saved this audio it has to appear like one of this one here the rock wave that one there and then now your audio is added so what you do is that you have now to check where he starts speaking like you can move this one first and maybe you move your prey head
a bit move your bread or you can just pray one of the keys is remember and make sure because i'm saying it's somewhere like there because those the day was when we were doing the recording that's when the day came so now you can pray back one of the keys is remember where you came from keep that shit in the front of your mind and when shit goes bad and it goes sideways a lot of shit does you're getting booed out of the fucking building or you're coming through this injury or people are you writing you off oh you guys ain't gonna fucking make it you know any of that shit you see now already is done now when you start now what you do remember to make this one to be your beginning like the starting point because when you now do your rendering you need this part to be appearing on your final project so you have to make sure that everything match and the unreal agent we never like we never like when you're exporting the video you never get a good quality of what you're exporting so you have to still to take this onto the video editing but the first thing first of all you do is that to make sure that whatever you have here is mashing and then you can just take this one from the first to the end where you want it to happen so when you're done just click here uh say export video no audio because when you choose audio you can choose audio but i don't i don't like exporting with the audio i just like exporting without the audio then export whatever the that's the part that you wanted and when you're done now you can bring your project back to the uh video editing and then there you can just now do the, it will be easier for you to do the rip syncing and finishing all the work so that's how you add the audio to your character and to try to do the rip syncing you can just do it to the icon where i've shown you here this will help you like you have done some video to show you how you can do this one just check on my video or you have any question just comment below don't forget to subscribe and just hit the notification button so thank you for watching this video and hope you to see on my next video bye for now